Okay, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily set up related posts underneath your blog post. So uh, when you're making your blog and people are reading your blog, as you can see, for example, we're on one of my sample blogs here that I write on uh, on a regular basis. So when people are done reading the article and things like that, usually they're looking for something else to do. And one of the nice things to uh, show your readers is your related articles. So as you can see on this type of site, I actually don't use thumbnails. I just use simple text links because this is a finance related site. So you can see underneath the post I have related. I have uh, links to some of my other content. So I'm going to show you guys how to easily set that up. And you're going to be using a very simple plugin called yet another related post. So yet another related post. Uh, here's the plugin. I already have it set up, but I'm going to show you guys how to add it for yourself. So you just want to head into your WordPress dashboard. And you want to click uh, plugins add new so then you want to wait for that page to load so you go over to add new you want to type into the search box here yet another related something like that that should, should come up okay so here's the plugin here so all you would do is once it comes up here, it's abbreviated as YARPP. You want to click install now and then activate. So once you do those two steps, you'll come over back over to your settings and you'll see something down here underneath it called YARPP and you want to click that. So this is how we're going to set up the actual settings of the plugin. Very nice plugin, very powerful to use. So all we're going to do is come down here and then we're going to click down here so here's how it works so the pool that shows basically uh, what type of color show underneath your related posts your relatedness that's basically your match threshold that you can set up to to what type of how related the posts are and then this is display options for your website as well and if you want to display uh, related posts in your RSS feed so I kind of left these uh, basically on default I don't really block anything but uh, if you wanted to show password protected or something like that, you could check this box. And if you wanted to only show recent posts, but I just left all of this as the default. And once again, as a, as a match threshold, uh, you can set this to one, uh, uh, depending on how how much threshold you want. So the default match threshold is actually five. So basically, the the more restrictive it is, the the less repeated posts you'll get overall. So I just set mine to four. But you can, uh, you can leave this as default as well. It depends how many posts you have on your website, depending on if you wanted to leave the number lower or higher. But I think 5 or 4, that's a good default match. So here's also the display option. So what I do is I usually just display it below my post page. And so you're on, I don't want to show it like under my about page or something like that. And I don't want to show it on my media or my blocks. And then you can also show how many posts you want to show. So I usually show about three, but depending on what niche you're in, you might want to show more or less. But I think three is three choices. That's enough. Uh, some people show more. You can show up to five. Or if you have a site where you really want to focus and send people to a specific post, you can just show one. So lists and thumbnails. So it really depends what kind of uh, industry you're in, what niche you're in. Uh, for me in the finance niche, I know the majority of the readers are older and uh, probably more interested in reading content than looking at pretty images. So I always use the list feature for this site, but I do have another site in the travel industry and the people there are very visual, so I like to use the thumbnails. So then of course you want to change this to related. There's different ways you can uh, title this. You can show related. Uh, you may also like. Some people like to say, uh, you know, uh, related posts, related articles, um, more content on this, uh, check this out, something like that. Basically any way to get people to uh, identify with your content and read more articles. And then, uh, like I said, and then also, the last thing is you want to show related posts in your RSS feed. Uh, if you think people are scraping your RSS feed, and you might want to put some extra backlinks to your site, you could check this box as well. So that's basically it guys, how to set it up, a very very straightforward plugin, uh, lots of the defaults will work for you. Now there is one thing about this plugin, uh, sometimes it, sometimes when you use it, 
if you're for example showing the post as a thumbnail sometimes the the bottom of the thumbnail the title can get cut off so I'm going to show you guys a quick hack how to fix that just in case you may encounter that problem okay so I mentioned earlier that there was uh, sometimes there's a problem where the title gets cut off you just simply need to make a, a quick CSS change so I'm actually going to put this CSS in the video description below the video so you guys can use this if you're encountering this problem so what you want to do is you simply want to just adjust the height of the, the, the thumbnail and then you want to kind of reduce the font size so all you have to do is just copy and paste you can paste this uh, for this uh, particular site I'm using generate press so I just go to the customize tab and I enter this into additional CSS but if you guys are using basically a regular style sheet on your WordPress team you want to copy and paste this code uh, into your your style.css file so that's it for uh, guys I hope I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial uh, yet another related post uh, plugin very nice plugin for putting related posts beneath your content so please guys if you enjoyed this video give me a like and a uh, leave a comment and if you're interested in seeing more videos on uh, optimizing your WordPress site link building uh, building websites things like that please smash that subscribe button I really appreciate you guys all the support and all the positive comments you've given so thanks for now and uh, take care